Good morning, Hank. It's Monday. This week we're going to be learning about the mating habits of... Oh, come on. Don't do that in front of the children. Okay, Hank, so tortoises are majestic reptiles. They can live to be more than 200 years old. What is that noise? Really? That's an actual recording of a tortoise in coitus? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta call Tommy Lee Jones. Hi, Tommy Lee, it's me, John Green. I'm gonna need that magic wand you used in the film Men in Black because I need to unremember something. Mm -hmm. Oh God, Tommy Lee, it's happening again. So I can present to you the majestic mm -hmm. giant tortoise. Oh, come on! All right, Hank, so there are a few things you need to understand about tortoises in order to understand their sexuality. One, tortoises often don't hit sexual maturity until they're like 20 years old. Two, on average adult male tortoises weigh 200 pounds more than females. And number three, tortoises have a lot in common with the male characters on the television phenomenon Jersey Shore. They don't have jobs, they're huge without being technically overweight. And for both species, the primary method of flirting involves head bobbing. Okay, so whether a male tortoise is considered hot is decided mostly by the length of his neck. I mean, you know what they say about tortoises with long necks. So the male tortoises will be hanging out and be like, look, my neck is so long, and then the other tortoise will be like, my neck is even longer, and whoever has the longest neck generally gets the most desirable mating situations. Okay, so you're a long necked tortoise and you start to approach your lady friend, then begins the head bobbing. The male tortoise walks up to the female tortoise and bobs his head like crazy in an attempt to, I don't know, look turtle sexy. At this point, one of a few things might happen. It might be that you're lady friend just allows you to mount her. Now, of course, a lot of people wonder about the actual mechanics of tortoise sex. This is pretty straightforward. The underside of the male shell, which is called the plastron, is conveniently enough concave. So the shells actually fit surprisingly well together. Yeah, I don't blame you at all for walking away from that little turtle. The male tortoise balances like a three-legged stool on his hind feet and his tail, and then, you know, mm -hmm. oh, not the noise again. Hank, you want to know the worst thing about the noise? This noise mm -hmm. is the only noise tortoises ever make. Like, occasionally they'll, like, make hissing sounds, but in terms of really utilizing their vocal cords, just this. So like that's how it goes when everyone's enthusiastic about mating, but sometimes the lady tortoises say, you know, I don't really want to have someone who weighs 200 pounds more than me hump me. In that situation, the male tortoise will walk around to the front of the female and start biting her feet. He does this because eventually she will retract her feet into her shell, thereby rendering her immobile so he can run around and, you know. You stay classy, giant tortoise. Once insemination occurs, the female tortoises lay their eggs in a shallow nest, and eight months later, baby tortoises, who will grow up alone in a terrifying world where this passes for love. Hank, I can't wait for your song on Wednesday. On Friday, we'll be learning about giant squids, not of anger, but of love. By the way, nerdfighters, both this giant squid of anger shirt designed by nerdfighter Vondell Swain and this DFTBA shirt, which reminds everyone who looks at your chest not to forget to be awesome, are available now at DFTBA.com. Link in the doobly-doo. They're in stock and ship immediately, at least until we run out of them. Also, please go to projectforawesome.com and sign up for the Project for Awesome mailing list. The mailing list is one of the main ways we have of organizing so we can descend upon videos about nonprofits and bring them to the world. And yes, I know that my glasses are crooked. My son is 10 months old. He is a glasses monster. Please forgive me, Hank. I'll see you on Wednesday. By the way, Hank, I'm not gonna lie. Learning all of this has dramatically affected my relationship with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, seriously, Donatello, I did not expect you to be a biter of lady feet.